what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna review a really popular video on my channel and that is the Ulta Beauty Collection Box. This just rolled out in time for the holidays. So you wanna see everything this box is about, what's in it, what my opinions are, then definitely keep on watching. So we had just got back from vacation. I am officially uh, 30 years old. It's finally happened, guys. I finally hit the big 3-0. It's here. It happened. But I honestly had such a fantastic time over in St. Augustine. That's recording. I went to celebrate my birthday. We had such a wonderful time. I didn't want to come back. But I am here, back to work. And then I also just got my hair done. I freaking love it. My hair is style Dina. I, I'll actually link her information down below. You guys can go find her. Please go check her out. Her Instagram is phenomenal. But she just did my hair. I'm in love with it. It looks so freaking good. I love when Dina does my hair. Like, ugh. Like, the smell of dye is just... Oh my God, it's so intoxicating. Corey hates the smell of my hair, never dye my hair, but I love it because I just know that I just got it done and it did look so beautiful and she does such a great job and I'll link everything about her down below. So make sure you guys go check her on Instagram because she's fantastic. For today's video, Surprisingly enough, this video does really well on my channel. I guess you guys like seeing what Ulta Collection has to offer. Um, they do usually one to two uh, holiday gift sets per year or like makeup collections per year. And what it is, it's a big box like this that retails for $20. You get 65 makeup pieces inside or you get 35 depending on the type of box you got. I picked the 65 piece one and this is called the Love Makeup 60, oh, 67 piece collection, my bad. But I picked up this one, there's two different versions there is B Sparkle or Sparkle On, whichever one, which I'll actually have linked right up here for you guys. But it is a 35 piece makeup set that retails for $19.99. And then there's this one that's a 67 piece makeup set that retails for $19.99 as well. This has over a $200 value, whereas the B Sparkle or Sparkle On, that has over $127 value. So the first video that I ever did on this, <laughs> did not do so well. I was told that I was pretty negative in that video and looking back at it, I was like, oh God, I was completely negative and I will not link that video on here because I do not care to rewatch that. Uh, the second one I did last year and when I look back on that one, I'm like, oh my God, my makeup was horrendous <laughs> in that video and surprisingly it has like 9,000 views and I'm like, ew, like my makeup looks so horrible. Why people wanted to watch that? That is beyond me. But here we are today, again today, to retry doing our makeup. I already have my foundation, concealer, and setting powder completely done because I know that in here they have different eyeshadow palettes in here. They have bronzers, blush, highlighters, eyeliners. I think they have mascara. I'm not entirely sure. This has a 36 eyeshadows, four blushes, three eyeshadow bases, three glitter top coats, three gel liners, three eyeliner pencils, two bronzers, two highlighters, two shiny liquid lips, two matte liquid lips, two shiny lip glosses, two brow powders, one brow wax, one brush, one blush brush, and one eyeshadow brush. Nice, and this is how, first off, let's just look at the, just appreciate how the box looks. It is so freaking cool. And when you guys open it up, you do see that decent sized mirror that's gonna be right there, along with the blush brush and the eyeshadow brush. And then you're gonna have our eyeshadows right here, our face and blush and highlights right here. And then when you guys actually open it up, you again will have a huge eyeshadow collection right there. But that is not the part that intrigued me. What actually intrigued me is this little compartment right here. You open this up, and then here you have your matte liquid lips, your shiny liquid lips, your lip glosses, you have your eyeliners right down here. So I think it's a really cool design for this. Plus it's a really, really pretty color just in time for the holiday season. And yeah, I know that like Ulta doesn't have like the best quality when it comes to their makeup, but it's not bad at all. I actually really liked last year's box a, a lot. So I'm excited to give this one a try. Like I said, there is the other version that is the B Sparkle one and that retails for $9.99 as well, but it has less products in it and it only has a retail value of $137. Oh my God, I'm getting all my information wrong today. It's been a hot, I haven't filmed in over a week actually. It's been a week since I filmed. Ah, gotta get back at it. So 
let's go ahead and dive on into this. I know a lot of people get this for a Christmas gift. I got told last year in a lot of my videos that everybody got their um, package from a Christmas collection or like a Christmas gift. And I thought it was such a cool idea because you can literally give this to any type of makeup lover. It's great for their collection because one, it's a really beautiful box and then you have really cool eyeshadows in here as well, along with pretty much everything you need to get yourself going, especially if you're like really getting into makeup and really be, you know, getting new into makeup. I think this is a great addition to add into your collection. It's a great way to start out because a lot of people are intimidated. They want to start like a YouTube channel. They don't really have that much makeup. I feel like this is a great investment because it's literally only $20 and you can get all of this. So I think it's actually really cool. And you guys can tell my nails are done. I have to literally take them off today. I painted them just in time for birthday because Disney will not allow these nails and I will get sent home real quick. And the best part is like literally all this stuff just pops right, right out so you can literally just save the box and have it as a cute makeup carrier. That could be like a little makeup bag you take with you on the go. Like I think it's such a cool little concept with like a little mirror built in. I love the little storage shelf. Like I cannot get over at how cool this little guy is right here. Like I am so obsessed with how cool this is. Like I could put all my lip stuff and eye stuff in here and just lock that away. Oh my God, I love that. That is so freaking cool. Well, this little eyeshadow palette looks not bad colors at all. A different variety of colors. Definitely great for anyone that's wanting to just you know, expand their collection. I think it has some really beautiful colors to it. And then you have this little guy where you're gonna have some gel eyeliner in here along with some glitter toppers. We'll see how well they hold up glitter topper wise because I am obsessed with my With Love Cosmetics pressed glitter. I think, I think it's like the best pressed glitter ever. And uh, we'll see how well this holds up. Oh my God, they tape it so that no one can freaking get in here. So this is how this little guy looks. Right down here, you are gonna have your eyebrow stuff, your gel eyeliner, and then you're gonna have your glitter toppers and then your eyeshadow base right here. The only thing I don't like about this is I just don't like how cheap, what did I just take my finger into? <gasps> oh, well, whatever that is, that is super creamy. Oh my God, my finger just keeps digging in. Got a little nick right there too. That is really, really creamy formula. What is that? I am living for this color right here. That is such a really beautiful color. Maybe swap it on my finger. Not bad, not the most pigment. Let's try this one right here. Ooh, ooh, wow. That definitely has some pigment to it. Let's swatch on the back of the hand. Ooh, that laid down really nice. I like that, okay. The only thing I can see that I'm not, see, the only thing I don't like is I don't like how flimsy the packaging is. It's the only thing I don't like. And they tape like this, like there's no tomorrow. It's like I don't want you getting in here. And I'm like, I just want to get into the product. like. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eye look. I'm actually gonna start with this little guy right here. This is the gel topper. But in order for me to do that, I wanna go into this little guy right here first. And this is the Shimmer Bronze. I'm gonna take my finger. I'm gonna start on my inner corner because I already told you guys I like working in my inner corner. I feel like it's just a great way to start laying down like the base. And if you mess up, it's like easy to wipe away. I'm gonna slouch a little bit because I do have this little mirror in this box and I wanna try utilizing this mirror. So let's just use that. That is actually going on rather nicely. That definitely has some pigment to it for sure. I'm gonna bring it like literally halfway through because I'm gonna be putting a topper right on top of that. That is such a beautiful color. That is blending out so nicely. I think these little boxers are such a cool idea. Truly, I really do. Um, the fact that you only spend $20, you can get so much makeup with a value worth of $200 and you get 67 pieces of makeup in here. I think it's such a cool little concept. I love the little traveling case. I can never get over the traveling case. I think it's so freaking pretty. All right, so then I wanna go into this little guy here. And this is called the Champagne Glitter Top Coat. I'm gonna take my finger once again. And we're gonna put that right here. I wonder if that will add anything to it. Just right on top. Well. I'm not seeing anything added on there. I'm not seeing any sort of dimension. What if I take a little bit, just a little bit, of the little silver guy, and that is called the just silver glitter top coat. If I just like sort of like pat it on and blend out with my finger. Like a little mix of the both. There we go. Now I am gonna be doing a very simple, basic look. I wanna do like a look that you can wear for the holiday season. And I feel like it's such an easy process to start off like very basic, especially if you're new into makeup, you don't wanna overwhelm yourself. So you wanna actually start off what you feel comfortable with. And I always feel like going like a neutral, glittery eyes, like such a great way to go. And 
this looks just such a pretty look for the holidays like just be so pretty i'll tell you what though this glitter is just laying down so nicely with the silver one now i will say about ulta shadows is that they are very soft they're very soft so they're really really easy to blend away and blend out so just make sure you are work it up a bit because they could be on the little softer side that's pretty it's cute all right so i'm gonna go into this matte brown i'm gonna take the little brush that came in this pack because well why not it does have a little kick up in the formula just tappy tap and then i'm gonna start to just lay that down right next to what we just did Ooh, that is very soft I am taking my brush and I'm slowly building it into the color we just laid down and then I'm gonna go back into those colors and kind of blend on top again. That is super pretty. So we wanna do something soft for the under eye. So I think I kinda wanna go with what we're working with a little bit. So I think I am gonna still go back into the matte brown one more time. I'm gonna go back into the matte brown one more time right here. And I'm gonna ever so softly just kinda like place it underneath very very lightly all right so this is the little guy right here they have a brown charcoal and a black well i know me i'm probably gonna go with black because i just really like to smoke my eye out a little bit so i'm gonna go with the black liner it's very sharp sharp tip a little a little nerve-wracking i'm gonna pull the eye down oh no that's way too sharp that really hurts Let's flatten you out a little bit Nice, that's a really nice pencil. I can never like not do that without, to my face. Ugh. <gasps> that is a really nice pencil, holy crap. That actually has a lot of pigment to it and it blended out so nicely. All right, so I'm gonna throw on my mascara off the camera and I will be right back. Mascara is on, I do wanna finish off the eye look just a little bit, so I'm gonna go back into this little brush that they give you. This little guy right here, this is called Shimmery Ivory. And I'm gonna take the same little brush, very lightly, I'm gonna put it a little bit under my brow bone so it has a little sparkle, a little highlight just right there. Blend it out, not bad. Now the only thing I'm noticing about using the glitter is that if you guys can tell, it's like all over my face. It definitely has some fallout to it, which is whatever. Like I mean, especially during the holidays, you wanna be like extra glittery and glowy. So like I really don't mind. Um, <laughs> saves me on putting on highlight, you know? I'm also gonna take it and I'm gonna put it right in the inner corner. Just pop it right there. Boom. All right, so the next thing we have in the pack is they do have a matte bronzer and a shimmer bronzer. So this is gonna be the matte. This is the shimmer right there. I, honest to God, would never use the shimmer. I just feel like, no way. I think it'd be great as a gold highlight for somebody with a deep skin tone. But for me, it just would never work out. I'm gonna go into this matte bronzer. I'm gonna take my little fling brush, um, which, by the way, uh, they are releasing a new brush collection it's gonna be coming out very very soon it's actually coming out in november actually so they're coming out with a new uh, brush set right here and it's gonna be all black with sparkles i'll put the picture over here oh my god it's so gorgeous should be releasing it in november and i'm so beyond excited i don't know if that is the right bronzer Ooh, she may be a little not what I'm used to, I usually use MAC Give Me Some Bronzer. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. Um, this looks like more like a grayed out blush. Ooh. Well, you know what? We'll make it work, make it work. All right, I'm a little bronzed up, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, brush. I'm gonna kind of brush it out a little bit. This still has a little bit of my setting powder still sitting on it, so hopefully it kind of works it out just a little bit. But if not, I mean, We'll make it work. All right, so the next step is adding a, oh my gosh. I didn't want to have this open. My fingers just dug into this right here. These are like butter. These are literally like freaking butter and they're literally getting everywhere. All right, so since they have a little, a little blush brush, I am gonna use this brush. And I'm gonna go into this little blush right here. It seems like it's more peachy. Very lofty, top it off. It kind of just hit the cheeks. Ooh, she's a little blushy for me. A little too, a little too blushy for me. Once again, not bad, but I'm gonna go and hit it with 
my brush one more time to dull it out just a little bit. And then they have cool little highlighters. They have a gold highlighter and a little bit of a rose highlighter, which I'll show you guys on my finger right there. Ooh, those are really pretty. Let's go and swatch those. Ooh, super pretty. I actually might go in with the gold one. All right, so I'm going to go in with the gold one right here. Ooh, that's nice. All right. Definitely has some highlight to that. Not bad at all. All right, so the next thing we have is we have all the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these for you guys. You know, I never probably think things through before I do them. So, oh, so here are the lip swatches. So at the very top we have Wine, which is gonna be the, the shiny liquid lip. Super cute. Then we have the bottom, which is gonna be called Pink, which is their matte liquid lip. They're so creative with their names. Then we have Mauve, which this little guy right here, and this is going to be a shiny liquid lip. Then we have another matte liquid lip, and this is gonna be in the color Rose. And then we have the first gloss right here. If you already know, you guys know I love my gloss. This is called Shimmer Champagne. And then the last gloss is gonna have Shimmer Pink, and that's this little guy right here. Very good choice on, uh, all right, place this. Very good choice, Allie, very good choice. So I think I'm actually gonna go in with Pink, which is gonna be the matte liquid lip. I'm gonna go in with this first. Doesn't have a smell. That is pink liquid lip right there. It actually feels very, very smooth on the lip. It does not feel drying at all. And it had a really nice pigmentation to it. It doesn't have a smell, doesn't have a taste. I actually really like how it looks. Just taking a hot minute to dry it down. But right, now that that is dried down, I'm gonna go on top of it with the shiny liquid lip in the color mauve, because I really do love mauve. We're gonna go right on top. Didn't really do much. It kind of like blended into the pink, if I'm being honest. It didn't really, didn't really do much. That's fine. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the Champagne Shimmer Gloss right on top. These are like the smallest little bottles. All right. All right guys, and this is the final look. I actually think this is a very, very beautiful look. It's very easy, it's really basic, but I think it's great look and time for the holiday season. I really do like how this turned out. Sorry to make sure there's nothing in my teeth. I really do like how this turned out. I think it's really beautiful. I think the eyes are so soft, so elegant, and I think that anybody can literally rock this eye look. I was really surprised at how well the formula worked when it came to the press glitters. The champagne one didn't work as well as I wanted it to, but the silver top glitter coat, like it was so pigmented. There is quite a bit of fallout on the face, so please do expect that if you guys use any of the top glitters, like you will have some fallout. Uh, the brown was very soft, very muted, but like I said, Ulta has very, very soft formulas when it comes to their eyeshadows, so you really kind of got to pack it in there. But I was really going for something really soft, very easy, something very simple to do that didn't take much time or effort into it. So I really do like the soft effect because you can still see it, and I still think it's beautiful. As for the bronzer, I really wasn't feeling it at first but when I mix it in, it started to blend out a little bit better. It's not my favorite bronzer by any means, and I probably won't hit it that much. Same with the blush. It's kind of melting into my skin now that it's been sitting there for a hot minute, and I did kind of like mix it together. But the highlight, I'm really living for this highlight. I think it's super freaking nice. I really do like it. As for the lips, I really do like the lips. The mattes. The matte liquid lip was not drying at all, like it dried down, but it didn't feel like a crusty lip on top. It was very actually smoothing and there's no taste, no smell to it. But the lip gloss, there's no stickiness to it. There's no bad taste to it. It doesn't, doesn't taste like anything on my lips actually, but it's very soft and it's very moisturizing. It feels very, very moisturizing and hydrating to the lips. I really do like that. Um, the only thing I think this box is missing is they used to throw in like a 
20% off coupon in here for your next purchase. And there's none in here. Alta used to literally have 20% off coupons that are in here and now they don't have it in here. And I wonder if it's because people used to go to the store, open the boxes and steal it. I don't know, but they used to throw that in here and now they don't have it, so that's kind of a bummer. So I actually really like this makeup box. I think it's such a cool concept, such a cool thing. The only thing I don't really like is I just don't care for the actual like packaging packaging of the makeup products. I think it comes in very, very flimsy, very, very cheap packaging, and I don't like that, because like I feel like when you're trying to pull off this little plastic top right here, that you're gonna break the actual like palette that it's in, and then it's just gonna disintegrate and crumble in your, in your hand, so I don't like that. But I really do like the eyeshadows. I think they're really pretty, they're very elegant. There's gonna be some fallout. I really do love this box. I think the brushes right here, they're very, very soft. The brushes are very soft. I really like how the brushes performed, and they're really nice. And the box over on, I think it's such a cool little box. Like I love having the mirror right here and then my favorite part is this little compartment right here like I cannot get over how cool that compartment is I think it's so freaking neat I think this is gonna be great like a makeup travel case with you literally put everything in here close it up boom good to go you can travel with it very fits safely fix easily into like suitcase or like you can take it with you however you guys want to do it but I think it's such a cool little box and I think by far this is the third box that I've done from Ulta and I think this one is by far my absolute favorite I really do like it now they do have the other one if you guys want me to review it let me know I can do that for you guys it just didn't call out to me that they the way that this one did because the for the one that I saw was like I said twenty dollars but they had that eyeshadow primer in there and I do not like that eyeshadow primer the first time I tried it it was horrible and I got a lot of negative feedback for not enjoying that primer but if you guys want me to review it I totally can just let me know in the comments but like I said and uh, yeah guys it's so good to be back I'm so excited I have quite a few bit of videos coming up for you guys uh, we do have the Jeffree Star mystery box giveaway it's ending on this Thursday Halloween. Christy and I will be picking the winners. We are so excited. So if you guys have not entered that giveaway, I'll list the video down below with all the details on how to enter that giveaway. I'm giving away Supreme Box. She's giving away a Deluxe Box and one winner is going to win both boxes. And yeah, I cannot believe it. It's literally almost Halloween. My birthday just passed. And yeah, it's so good to be back. I'm excited and I can't wait to continue on. So this is the first holiday collection. So with that said, guys, that is it for today's video. Please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post three to four videos a week. Also, make sure you guys head on over to my other channel, it's Our Flutter Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support, and I'll see you guys very next video. Bye! Hey, guys! <clears throat> Ooh, no. What? <laughs> my voice cracked. My hairstyle, Dinas. Dinas. <laughs> but, you get 65 piece eyebrow, eyebrow brush, shiny lip gloss, lifeline, here you your eyebrow gel, your eyeshadow, I mean your eyebrow gel, your gel liner, and your, um, your oh my god, I, I cannot talk. Very soft. Ah! Come on. Ooh, okay, too old to bend down. Oh, but I'm gonna go into this little matte highlighter right here. I'm gonna